We're used to our universe behaving in a certain way. There is a natural progression of events, of causes and effects. Living creatures and physical objects behave according to the laws of motion, quantum mechanics, and relativity. But there is something else at work here too, a natural phenomenon that affects the fate of everything in our universe. We are capable of building amazing and complex structures, but everything that we create eventually decays and falls apart. Living organisms age and deteriorate over time. A man preparing a delicious snack becomes distracted. <laughs> a glass of milk falls and breaks. We've all seen this before. It's unfortunate, and it leaves a mess that his girlfriend now has to clean up. I mean, that he offers to clean up. But why does this happen? Well, aside from carelessness, that is. Why don't we ever see the opposite? Why don't we ever see shards of broken glass fused together and combined with liquid to create a full, unbroken cup? According to the laws of physics, this is technically possible, but we all know from experience that this isn't the way things work. In fact, every glass cup ever made will ultimately share the same shattery, broken fate, whether it's in a dumpster, recycling plant, or on your kitchen floor. It's the natural way of our universe, and it's all because of something called entropy. Okay, so let's just get right into it. What is entropy? Well, there are several different definitions. I, I would say that entropy is, first of all, a measure of uh, disorder. It's a measure of how many ways you can reorganize a given system. The entropy of an ideal gas, for example, can be expressed with this equation, where S equals entropy. KB is the Boltzmann constant, which is 1.38062 times 10 to the minus 23rd joules per... You know what? Let's just say you're playing a game of pool. A typical game begins with the balls arranged in a highly ordered configuration. This is a low entropy state. As the game begins, however, the balls are quickly scattered. The disorder of the table increases, and so does the number of possible configurations. Therefore, the entropy of the pool table has increased. Now try to do the opposite with a single shot, put them back in order. I'm gonna, let's go to the bar. <laughs> I'm gonna try that all day. It might take a lot of quarters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Technically, it's not an impossible task, but it's extremely unlikely and something we probably won't ever see in our lifetime. Well, most of us at least. This natural tendency of entropy to increase over time is described by the second law of thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics will tell you that the entropy of an isolated system cannot decrease as a function of time. So as time goes, it will either remain the same or increase. A perfect example of this is life. A living organism is a highly ordered low entropy system. And life, on this planet at least, can pretty much pop up anywhere we look, even from a rough chaotic environment. But this order does not come without a price. It takes a lot of energy to lower the entropy of a system. In the case of plant life, most of this energy comes from the sun. And the sun is constantly radiating energy into space, increasing the entropy of our entire solar system. A hot cup of coffee has higher entropy than a cold cup of coffee because hot water molecules have more movement than cold water molecules and are therefore more disordered. Ice has even less entropy because of the restricted movement of water molecules in a solid formation. We all know that a hot cup of coffee will cool over time, and it's delicious. But be careful, hot, 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 hot. As it cools, its entropy will actually decrease. However, a coffee cup is not an isolated system, and the only way it can lower its entropy is by releasing its heat into the room, thereby increasing the total entropy of the surrounding environment. Getting a haircut is another example of taking a disordered system and transforming it into an ordered system. A sexy ordered system. However, even though the entropy may be lower on your head and face, According to the second law of thermodynamics, the overall entropy of the entire system must have increased. The barber burned calories to operate the scissors. Fossil fuels were incinerated to provide electricity for the clippers. And the hair that was removed was chaotically dispersed across the floor, only to be swept up, requiring even more energy. But why is this? Why must we live in a universe where disorder is constantly growing, and order is so hard to come by? It's a very good question. It's not something that follows from the basic laws of physics. It's really a consequence of statistics. There are many more high entropy states available than low entropy states. 
there is a strong evidence that the universe started with what is now known as the Big Bang. The Big Bang was a state of a very low entropy. The entropy has since increased a lot, and there is no evidence that it will start decreasing anytime soon. Because there are so many more disordered states than ordered states, the tendency of the universe to move towards disorder is just a matter of probability. It is a process that began with the Big Bang and it has been going on ever since. As much as we try to create and sustain order in our lives, we are all bound to the second law of thermodynamics. <laughs> the increasing disorder and decay of our universe is inevitable. But hey, look at it this way. If ordered states are so improbable, it's amazing that we're even here at all. We should be thankful. And if things get chaotic from time to time, well, that's just the way of the world. Now watch as I increase the entropy of this cookie. Mmm. Thermodynamics. Could use a little milk, though. Thanks for watching, guys. There's more entropy videos coming up, so stay tuned for those. And if you have examples of entropy increasing in your own life, tell us about it in a video. Call it Entropy for the Good Stuff. Or if you have a question, ask us. Or you could leave a comment. There's lots to do. Jeez. I'm going to need my energy for all this stuff we got to do. And of course, there's the subbable page. If you'd like to contribute and help us continue delivering the good stuff, you can go there and do so. Thank you. Home. Oh.